I am Anil Kumar and let me first thank the excellent school teachers we have all around. Now because of them students get the knowledge and, and actually I get my questions. So I get my questions from the assignments from the test papers of my students which are actually created by these teachers. So here is a very good question from one of the schools. Uh, we will do it in two parts since it was a long question and I cannot cover it in half of my page. So here is the question. Mrs. Sello is thinking about a sine wave. The wave has a maximum of 7 and a minimum of minus 1. The period is 2 pi by 3. There is a phase shift. However, Mrs. Sello wants you to calculate it using the fact that f of 1 equals to 5.401. Determine the equation of the sine wave use exact values. Now in very few questions have I seen this part use exact value. You can actually pause the question solve this particular question find the equation and the tricky part here is use exact values which I'm going to um, share with you while finding the solution of this equation. Okay so let's begin in the normal way which is a wave has a maximum of seven. So we'll write maximum equals to 7, minimum is minus 1 and the time period t is 2 pi by 3. Correct? Now these values give us the required parameters for our equation. We are trying to write a sine function from here. So let me, let me say that the sine function will be of the form y equals to a sine K and let's say x minus phase shift plus let us say see some trans I mean vertical translation okay so that is the form in which we we'll like to give this equation so from here we can find a a is equals to maximum minus minimum that is the amplitude divided by 2 right so which is 7 minus of minus 1 divided by 2 or a divided by 2 which is 4 correct now we can find uh, c from here which is axis right so axis is the average value which is maximum plus minimum divided by 2 in this case it will be 7 minus I should write plus and minus 1 divided by 2 which is 6 divided by 2 is 3 and k is 2 pi by t right so k equals to 2 pi by 2 pi by 3 correct so which is 3 for us now once we get all these values we can put them there and next step will be to find the value of p and remember we have to find this phase shift in as an exact value all of the values are exact for us so we can write y equals to is 4 sine k is 3 x minus p plus x is, is 3 yeah that gives us the equation now we are given the fact that f of 1 is equals to 5.401 so we'll, we are going to use that fact which is f of 1 is equals to 5.401 to find the phase. Correct? Now this is also a very interesting part and sometimes students get lost because of this. So I have taken it up very separately and clearly. So that really means that x is 1 and the y value is 5.401. So let me write here 5.401. 401 equals to 4 times sine 3 means there are 3 waves in 2 pi okay uh, x x is 1 so let me write 1 can you treat this as 1 okay okay let me write that x is 1 so write 1 minus p plus 3 now we'll solve this equation and find the value of p to solve I will take uh, 3 on this side so we have 5.401 minus 3 and then we'll divide by 4 let me do these two steps at the same time which is going to give us sine of 
3 times 1 minus p. Okay. Now, now it's time to use calculator. Fine. So we have 5.401 minus 3 equals to divided by 4 equals to uh, 0 0.60025. Correct. So this value is equal to 0 0.60025. Now, we have to find sine inverse of this value to get the value of p, right? So, so let me use the space now. We'll use different ink also so that it helps. So, we have 3 times 1 minus p is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.60025, okay? So, let's do sine inverse of this. So, we have the answer shift sine inverse of the answer equals to 0 0.64381. So we get 3 times 1 minus p equals to 0 0.64381. So to calculate p, we'll divide by 3. So we have 1 minus p equals to 0 0.64381 divided by 3, which is equals to divide by 3 it is equal to 0 0.2146 right 0 0.2146 now from here we can find p and p is equals to we'll take p this side and the number here so it is 1 minus 0 0.2146 that is equals to so let me do okay i'll take the negative of this so negative of the answer and we'll then we'll add one to it correct so what we get here is 0 0.7853 so so 0 0.7853 is what we get as the value of p now you could have written that but the question really is we have to write exact value of p the phase shift now how do you find so we have let me write bold and clear here we have p equals to 0 0.7853 how should we write this as an exact value? That is the main question here. Okay, can you suggest? You can pause the video, write down your answer, and then check with mine. So the idea here is to write this as an exact value. What we can do is we can divide this by pi and then multiply by pi. Do you get the point? So let me divide this by pi. So when I divide this by pi, I get 0 0.2499 pi. Do you get the idea? So when I divide this by pi, I get this number pi. Now 0 0.25, you know, it's kind of a quarter. Do you see that? It's approximately 1 over 4. Do you understand? So if I want to convert that into fraction, then very closely it is quarter. Do you get the idea? Right. So 0.25, correct? So 0.25 is quarter. So I can write P as quarter of a pi. Correct? So that is what I wanted to share with you. So what I get here is P equals to pi by 4. That is what I wanted to share with you. Knowing this, we can now finally write down our equation. So the answer for us is y equals to 4 sine 3 x minus pi by 4 plus 3. Do you get it? So that is the beauty of this question and I hope you understand and appreciate it just as I'm doing, right? I really, when I saw this question, first thing which came to my mind is, to share this part with you and uh, I'm glad I did so. Thank you and all the best.